Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Um, I just thought I would do a little bit of, uh, I suppose, a hobby vlog as well uh, through this sort of campaign that I'm going through and how I get the armies prepared and ready and uh, show you kind of through my painting process. So at the minute I'm working on a small Lumineth force uh, and these are the Venare Aurelins which are just some of the most stunning models uh, that Games Workshop has ever produced. Uh, I think they're fantastic. Uh, I thought the spears were going to be a nightmare to rank up and things, but they actually they work pretty well even when they, you put them on movement trace. Uh, so those guys are finished and based. Uh, and the only thing I have to add, which I'm currently working on, are their shields, which you can see here. Um, and I have found that, if I can find it here, this is the best, one of the best paints that I have ever uh, sort of laid my hands on. Contrast Skeleton Horde. Uh, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, so it would really help sort of make those guys pop uh, and made painting the white really, really easy. Uh, these are the Dawn Riders, sort of working through them, just blocking in the main colors. So that focuses on him in just a second. There we go. So yeah, just blocking in the main colours on him and this guy as well. Getting them ready for uh, a couple of shades and things. So what I use Skeleton Horde for is I paint uh, the models, prime the models white, do the silver details and then just drain, drown them basically in Skeleton Horde. And what that does is does all the shading really, really quickly so that I'm able to build up a nice solid white uh, pretty effectively that's sort of already shaded. So Skeleton Horde is really making painting the white armor on these guys uh, really, really easy. Uh, I painted up these. My camera's terrible at focusing at the minute. Painted up these, which is uh, with a Fecula Flybone, Flyblown and her two... Uh, two dudes. These are uh, sort of done in a bronzish armour. Sorry, got fed up with the camera there, just put it down to focus it. So they're doing kind of a bronzish armour. Can't see it very well in this lighting, so I'm hoping to get better lighting soon. But uh, there's sort of a green vertigris that I've uh, inked in on the edges of the armour to make it look really rusty and horrible as befits Nurgle. So, really, really pleased with these models, how they turned out. Cool. Light of Altharian, taking my time with him. And then also on the painting table, I have uh, my Urux. So these are sprayed black and then painted grey. So getting ready to add the yellows and things onto them. Again, this is another Beast Grave model. Uh, one of the works from that, so that's the kind of what I'm basing my colour scheme off. Really dirty yellow, as if they've been on campaign for a long time. So uh, that's my hobby update at the minute, that's what's on the painting table. And uh, yeah, hope everyone else's hobby is going well, and happy wargaming.